I was having really, really bad um, acid in my stomach. Gastroesophageal reflux disease is a disorder that affects over 40 million Americans. It is very common. It results from acid refluxing from the stomach back into the esophagus. About 5 to 15 percent of patients with typical reflux disease will develop a serious disorder called Barrett's esophagus, which is a precancerous disorder. I even had burns in my throat, so it was getting really bad, and um, that's why I went to Dr. Corbett. Burning sensation in the lower chest or difficulty with swallowing food or actually noticing blood in the stool can be alarm symptoms for patients who have gastroesophageal reflux disease. When we first started performing this procedure, we were using a balloon-based method, what we call the HALO 360 technique, a radiofrequency electrode wrapped around a balloon. Uh, we found that we were able to get rid of Barrett's completely in about 70 to 75 percent of patients. The 25 to 30 percent of patients where Barrett's was not completely eradicated, we found most of the residual Barrett's was down at the lower part of the esophagus that does not really conform to the shape of a rigid balloon as it enters the stomach. What we did then was to develop the Halo 90 device, which is a spot treatment device, where we could go down and spot treat those areas of Barrett's that were still remaining. We were able to completely eradicate Barrett's in 98.4% of patients. Recovery was, um, I didn't go right away to eating solids. I ate soft food. And then when I, after about two days, I was ready for some um, chicken. And I just learned, and even now, I have to really chew my food a lot more. Adenocarcinoma of the esophagus is the fastest growing solid tumor in the Western world. We feel that if we do not do something to check its rise, that it will actually exceed the rate of colon cancer within the next decade. And in certain areas of the United Kingdom, it already has exceeded the rate of colon cancer. I am free of that disease. and. Uh, cancer doesn't have anywhere to attack my esophagus, I hope anyway. That's what Dr. Corbett tells me. <laughs>